Howdy everyone, it's Rob from New Zealand Post here. Today we're going to learn about the Quick Print feature in eShip. So, what is Quick Print? Quick Print is a feature in eShip that allows you to quickly print labels, as the name might suggest. More specifically, it's for businesses that use a Pixlips system in their warehouses. Pixlips are labels or A4 sheets that contain an order's information on them. These are printed out before the items are dispatched. Pickers will take a pixlip, pick and pack the item, and then return back to the PC where eShip is set up in order to create the labels. This setup typically exists so that you can only print a label for an order if you have the matching pixlip. This prevents the risk of double ups, and it can make printing much faster. So the first thing we need to look at is how we create pixlips. First of all, your software may already be able to create a pixlip. If so, then skip the step and move on to the next one. However, most e-commerce tools do not have this facility built in, so we can use eShip to create the pixlips. In order to do this, you'll need to have some orders in eShip, like so. You can either create these manually, import them from a CSV file, or import them via an integration. Once you have the orders sitting in your unshipped queue, you can generate a pixlip for them by ticking the order, or ticking the entire queue, and then click Print, and then Print Picking Slips. My eShip setup creates pixlips as PDF files rather than printing them out. Let's have a look at what they look like. eShip picking slips contain the order number, reference, the date the order was imported, the shipping method, the recipient's address and contact details, and finally the item contents, so that the picker can find the correct items for the shipment. You'll also see, if you scroll down slightly, a barcode that contains the order number. This is important. If you have a hand scanner, you can scan in the order number on this barcode into the Quick Print page in eShip. This types the order number in for you, which completely mitigates the risk of accidentally typing the wrong order number and printing a label off for the wrong shipment. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Going back to eShip, however, let's now look at how we'd set this up in order to print the pixlips instead of just downloading them like I have. Go into Settings, click on Printing, click Add Print Settings, and then choose Picking Slip. There are two formats for the pixlip. You can either have an A4 pixlip, like the one I demonstrated earlier, or create a label size pixlip. From here, the process is very similar to how you would set up a label printer for printing shipping labels in eShip. Choose the print method. The default is to download the PDF. But of course, you can choose either the Windows agent or the print node for Macs. Here, I would simply choose my machine and hit Save Settings. In the print client itself, you'll need to find the pixlip under the carriers list and assign either your label printer or your A4 printer. Once the user has picked and packed their order, they return to the computer where each of is set up with the pixlip in hand. They then go to Quick Print and either with a hand scanner, scan the barcode at the bottom of the pixlip or type in the order number. Here there are two options. If you need to make some last minute changes to the order, for example choose a different box size or shipping service, have the radio button selected as open and then push enter. As you can see, because the address information is already present in eShip, we're taken to the second step where we choose a service, edit parcel sizes and weights, and choose additional options. Once I'm happy with this, I can click Print Labels and create the shipment. In a more advanced setup, 
you will have rules and default services to automatically assign package sizes and shipping services. This means the user shouldn't need to make changes to the order before printing it. So, they can simply select the print option, scan the order number in from the pick slip, or type it in, push enter, and within a few seconds, eShip will generate the label. As you can imagine, a busy pick bench will have a lot of users ready to print labels. However, with this setup, users can simply show up with their pick slip, scan the pick slip, print the label, place it on the box, and then grab another pick slip and go to process that order. This allows multiple users to share the same PC for printing. While this feature on the surface appears quite simple, it's a great way to improve efficiency in your warehouse particularly if you have a lot of shipments and a lot of users processing those shipments. Well, that's all for this lesson. Thank you very much for watching.